Lord Walk back in soon. They're for Friday. That's right. Yes! That's for the people in the stereo. Yes! Yes! Bruce, aren't you, didn't you die? You're yeah, dead. Yeah, no, I died. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm back though. Brought back from the grave by Nintendo's oversized contraceptive device. <laughs> so this might actually be the first time that a Nuvering created life. That's right. It's Normally like, it's, uh, yeah, it destroys it. Nuvering is a thing that women put inside their vaginas. Uh, but for real. <laughs> it feels really weird. I, I absolutely totally quit. I uh, figured I should come on Inside Gaming for one last ride and say my goodbyes to these fine folks here. For real, so there's no time to talk about it. No, 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 we have big news. <laughs> we have some really weird Nintendo doohickey thing that's coming out. This isn't coming out for the Wii? No, it's Switch, we're back. Oh my God. <laughs> you thought Labo was weird, no. <laughs> All right, Lawrence, take it away. Yeah. Sure, so yeah, one of the great things about Nintendo in general is that they're never satisfied with just making video games, even though they're really good at that. Yeah, they are. They Over are. the years, they've shown a deep and abiding love of accessories to closets full of plastic crap that we're still trying to give away to our cousins and Goodwills and what have you. <laughs> we love it. So yeah, over the years, they've rolled out the NES Zapper, the Power Glove, Rob, and more recently, the Labo cardboard sets. I like how that time gap spans about 30 years, only the tips. Virtual Boy's in there. Virtual oh, Boy, geez. yeah, Super Scope, which is like a plastic bazooka. What's the evolution of a light gun? A bazooka. bazooka. There's the Hey You Pikachu microphone, oh, yeah. the Game Boy camera, oh, the Game Boy that. camera printer. <laughs> it just doesn't stop, man. Nintendo is always interested in crafting new ways to interact with video games. Yeah. Cool. Well, now they're trying to get us healthy with some sort of new fitness device. Uh, nice try, Nintendo. They unveiled the Switch Nuba Ring out of nowhere. It's not called that. In a video yesterday showing people from all over the world playing with a device. Yes, now you too can pantomime Master patient with all your friends and family cheering you on. That's probably what it looks like. Again? The dude kicking his legs up in the living room. Like, yeah, go, do it! Cut that to some hereditary music and you got a great trailer. There are lots of footage of people doing crunches, squats, running in place, giving birth, all kinds of exercises thanks to that device. This will all be great for uh, Kegel workouts, right? You have to hold it and you go, pinch. Mm, yeah. If you've been quietly doing Kegels at your desk for the past decade, you're gonna blow people away at that dinner party. <laughs> when like people come in, tens and fifteens, you come in there two thousand. How's it gonna know that the you're switch doing... just explodes? How's it gonna know you're doing Kegels? You gotta insert it, Bruce. Just relax. Anyway, in the video showing off all planet Earth enjoying this newfangled device, <laughs> yeah, that's right. they made it very clear people in all major cities love this weird whatever the hell it is. <laughs> Lawrence, why do they have giant titles for every different city? I, I guess they're trying to prove that it, people all over the world look stupid when they play video games. <laughs> uh, yeah. Mission accomplished, I guess. I, I think it's like this device is for everyone. Sure. All age groups, all cultures, everyone can get it. That was the reasoning for the, the Wii, right? Mm -hmm. Calling it the Wii whenever. Yep. I remember when it happened, people at X-Play were freaking out. It was like, that's the so sound stupid. It's when you pee. Yeah, no. How dare they? But it was like, it was for the world. It yep. wasn't it's for monosyllabic. Me. It's a phonetic that every world language could say. That's smart. Oh. And that was that was the, the thing of it. And yes, in North America, it's, it's a little baby penis. Yeah. <laughs> As for the device itself, it's some sort of flexible mm -hmm. ring. I mean, I guess it gets inserted into somebody. Anyway, <laughs> oh, yeah. so it holds one Joy-Con. But that's not all. The video showcased a second device that looks like a leg strap, yeah. and it holds your gun. I mean, a Joy-Con. <laughs> Hey, when it comes to gamers, sometimes a Joy-Con's more powerful than a gun. That's not right at all. Uh, yeah, that one looks like it'll be used for all your running exercises, the thing around your leg, or for when you're walking back to the store to return this product. <laughs> oh, one last thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's so sweaty, his hair tied into the yeah. <laughs> Lawrence, this is one of your favorite things. Looks like an old infomercial, right? It really right? does. Yeah, yeah. Kind of manufactured elation that everyone has to be doing exercise? Come on. We're not tricked by that. But it did have pretty good production values, I gotta be honest. Yeah. Nintendo's marketing is usually pretty on point in that regard. So the real question is, what kind of games are gonna go along with this thing? They didn't show us. Maybe because they're still working on them or they really have no idea what they're gonna do. Um, <laughs> there's no way they would market it without having some kind of software in mind of to course, go along yeah. with it, but sure. it's mysterious. However, they did promise to show us more on September 12th, which is Thursday of next week. They're Pretty prepping us plan. for the weirdness that's yep. about to ensue. I think that's good though. You get everyone used to it. You put the idea out there. Hey, there's this weird ring thing. Get used to that. And then we'll hit you with the next thing. That's true. Regardless, it's pretty clear that both devices use the Joy-Cons to track what you're doing in whatever game is gonna come out. Yeah, how they do that is kind of interesting. The Wii largely just crammed a Wii remote into another housing and then used its motion sensing capabilities to try and detect what was being done. Yeah, often not very well, but it, whatever. It was fun for 20 minutes and your grandma went. <laughs> how much was it? Like $100? It was a lot of money. For the Wii? For the Wii Fit. Oh. I mean, I with, like 90 bucks. With $90? God, I don't remember. Yeah, I think you use it, it for like, 20 minutes and give up? I mean, I used it for a couple months. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. And then they hit me with that Wii Fit Plus and I was back in <laughs> for a little bit. Yeah. It's just like that one triangle stretch, man. It always said too much weight was on my front foot. What am I supposed to do about that?
Let us fix it. Yeah, you were the, you were the problem. Yeah. Not yeah. Plug. You made Reggie cry. Some of whatever this is looks similar to that. At least the thigh holster, kind of. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty clear. You just slip a Joy-Con into that bad boy and it tracks the angle and motion of your leg. Yeah, the Joy-Con that slips into the ring goes into an actual dock, though, which means there may be more mechanics at play than simply just tracking motion. Yeah. At least we hope so. Yeah. If it is actually docking in there, it's possible the ring has sensors that detect its motion and flex, like when they were pulling it back for archery, and transmit that information to the Joy-Con. Yeah, that means a game might be able to accurately sense how much or how quickly you flex the ring and translate that into more accurate game feedback than the Wii typically gave you. I mean, once again, we hope so. It's a, it's a new generation. We're not sure. It better be better than the thing that came out 15 years ago. Most importantly, that means you might be able to use the ring to play normal Switch games. Right? Yes, which leads us to our big announcement here. Uh -huh. uh, in addition to Bruce leaving, uh, Inside Gaming will be the first channel on YouTube to do a full playthrough of The Witcher 3 using only the N Nintendo Ding or whatever this is. So look forward to that. Uh, <laughs> finally, we're going to get our million view video. Somebody's going to play a Dragon Force with the, the, the Nintendo thing. <laughs> do, 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 yeah, do, do, you, watch out, T-Series and then PewDiePie, we're coming for you. <laughs> the only music games on Switch right now are really weeby ass games, so it'd be more like a Hatsune Miku song. <laughs> 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 Oh, God, demonetized so quickly. <laughs> it's like, you thought the pedo ring was bad. Wait till you see the Nuva ring. <laughs> so the obvious comparison here is the Wii Fit, of course, which we've been doing, which was a fitness game bundled with a balance board peripheral back in the day that you use for various exercise mini games. I think Lawrence probably be the one in here who used it the most. I never used it. Yeah. I never actually even touched it. Used I just punch out. And there was a Tony Hawk game, I think. And it also functions with a really expensive scale. Mm -hmm. I always want to weigh myself. I want to turn my TV on first and then my console and then stand in and go, I'm bigger than I was last week. Yeah, then have it go. When you step on it. Yeah. I enjoyed all the articles from girthy people that felt judged by the Wii Fit because it was like Asian and they don't care. Uh -oh. So they're like, wow, you're fat. <laughs> I guess I am. <laughs> Let us not forget the Wii Fit was a big hit for Nintendo. I have no idea. Yeah, much like the Wii itself, it became a crossover hit with the wider world. Yeah, some nursing homes use it to get residents to exercise. It was even used in some hospitals for physical therapy programs for people with prosthetic limbs, which is so cool. Yeah. It hit that sweet spot between video games and real world exercise, and Nintendo just loves to aim for. Yeah, all that resulted in a lot of sales, right, Lawrence? Yep, yep. Sold more than 22 million Wii Fits, and then an enhanced version, Wii Fit Plus, sold another 21 million That's units. insane. I had no idea. There's Ridiculous. as many Wii Fits out there as Xbox Ones? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. There could be. Uh, no, they have to go somewhere. Where did all those balance boards end up? There's some landfill where they're right next to the Salvation Army. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even joking. It's like the official game of Goodwill. <laughs> <laughs> Going all the way back to Switch, I guess. It seems like Nintendo's trying something similar of having like a breakout success kind of thing. Switch has definitely shown signs of being a crossover hit this generation, similar to the popularity that the Wii enjoyed a little over a decade ago. Nintendo likes to pull the same trick out multiple times. They just give it a new coat of paint and we're off to the races. So that's fun. She has a new hat. <laughs> this new fitness ring seems quite a bit different from the balance board, though. Yeah, it definitely looks like there'd be a wider variety of exercises given the ring is something you can hold and move around with, as you see in the video. Yeah, yeah we saw a lot of like pantomime archery being done. That's cool. Maybe some like arm flexes. Yeah, yeah some weird stuff. Shades like that. of the old Wii Sports there. Yeah, absolutely. Nintendo has already done some experimenting with the Joy Cons functionality in previous games, going all the way back to 1 2 Switch when it launched for the console. Let's show that uh, video of Adam getting hit. I'm still trying to figure out why I'm laughing before it. Like, you I think just I was, seemed so pleased. I think I was just drunk. Enjoying the day. Having a great yeah. day. <laughs> I, I think I was just like, I think I had that perfect moment of like, what a fun day. I'm getting drunk with my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Reality. That one was more of a party game, as you can see, uh, but yeah. it used the Joy-Cons for all different kinds of mini games. Yeah, and while it did go on to sell 3 million copies, it had a mixed reception with some reviewers feeling like it should have been a pack-in title for the Switch rather than a full-fledged standalone game. Like, they, were, they were right. I agree. Yeah, 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 it was one of the earliest games for the Switch back when there wasn't much to play besides Breath of the Wild, so that lack of options might have actually helped the sales of 1-2 Switch. What has uh, Nintendo been doing recently, though, Lawrence? Uh, they released Switch Boxing late last year, which involves you putting a Joy-Con in each hand while you do simulate a boxing workout. Of course. Take that, mm -hmm. Dad! <laughs> That was actually less than a hit in 1 2 Switch, selling about 300,000 units as of April. But it was popular in Japan, because when did they get a chance to hit anything? They're so reserved all the time. The yeah, most they can do is like actually make eye contact with somebody for a full second that constitutes mm. a world of aggression. So yeah. Nintendo's probably hoping that the Switch fitness ring sells better than that. Regardless, this is one more case of Nintendo doing what it loves doing, creating accessories that go along with your video games, which is sort of in tandem with their big corporate strategy of trying to find markets to sell video games that typically don't buy them. The other point is that these accessories, if they hatch on, mm -hmm. can sell far better than most video games. That's right, yeah. The Wii Fit outsold every game on the Wii, except for Wii Sports, Mario Kart Wii, Wii Sports Resort, New Super Mario Wii, and Wii Play. It's also worth noting that this contraption won't work with the new Switch Lite that All they right. announced earlier this year because its Joy-Cons will not detach. Yeah, so if this gets crossover appeal, your grandmother's gonna have to buy that full $300 Switch to go with it. Yeah, I guess also maybe they're aiming for 
for like gyms or something where they'll do like a mass buyout where they mm. go, oh. Or for schools the, or something like yeah, that? Yeah, like, sure. like I'm thinking like a hotel gym or something where it's like, look, we're futuristic and you gotta pick up this thing. Like, what the f Man. Why does it smell? I, I don't, yeah, I don't want to share that ring with anybody. Yeah, it, once, also, once I use that, it's mine. It's spirit bonded. Ooh. Once you put it inside you, it's never yeah. coming out. <laughs> It's also interesting to note that Nintendo did not mention this in their Direct earlier this week, where they announced a million games coming out for the Switch, but they didn't talk about this. Yeah, it seems like they intentionally kept the Switch ring out and then released a separate as if to say, here you go, casuals, this one's for you. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of, it's really interesting. My guess is because they wanted it to go a little bit viral. Hey, like maybe the whole world will pick up on this versus a million games and then the Nuba ring. I think also just as time has gone on, we've learned, or at least the industry has learned that to not combine everything. I think they realize that with the Wii where it just becomes kind of muddy when you're like, here's the hardcore gaming stuff, and then here's like a fitness thing, or like, remember that weird, like, oh yeah, the, 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 the vitality health? sensor, yeah, the vitality, never which never up. came out. Yeah. Like, put your finger in this, it's like, cancer. <laughs> <laughs> you want to buy it or what? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe this is just Nintendo being smart and saying, we're going to separate these things because we're very much aware this is not for the Star Fox yeah. audience. Well, that'll do it for me, Lawrence. Yep. I'm done. Speaking of being dead and having cancer, Bruce has got to go <laughs> fade away Jesus. from the internet. Bruce is leaving us here at Rooster Teeth and Inside Gaming because presumably he wants to be the world's first Nintendo full-time Twitch streamer. Yep. It's uh, not a coincidence. Yeah, not, no. <laughs> he waited for this exact moment. So good at it. Wow, <laughs> look at him go. Tune in to watch me flex around thing and get short of breath for eight hours straight. Watch your back, Ninja. Oh, he's not on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> that was gonna be our thing. We were gonna be Witcher. <laughs> oh my God, how are we gonna compete with Bruce now? But yeah, all jokes aside, Bruce has been with us for, I mean, not a day goes by where I'm like, when was Bruce not in my life? It feels, <laughs> yeah, I know. It's it feels weird it to like think, forever. it feels weird to think of a time before I worked with Bruce. So I'm saying goodbye two times in one week, but that's totally okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the more times you're here, the more happiness I have. Um, so. Don't worry, I'm 10 minutes down the road. Absolutely. Uh, needless to say, it's a sad day because I am leaving. <laughs> I, I wasn't supposed to read that line. That's right. <laughs> Uh, well, the good news is for the audience, if you guys enjoy Bruce and who wouldn't, uh, you can get a whole lot more of him at Twitch TV slash Bruce Green. He's also got a YouTube channel, uh, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. Did you set up your mixer yet? Uh, no, I almost. Okay. Oh, where's your Nintendo friend ID? <laughs> Watch him do this on your. Somebody give me a trophy. Yeah, we'll get you. Here you go. <laughs> for your service and your helping, please, please take this oh, thank you. wonderful trip. Yeah. You can squish that a little. Oh, look at him go. That's a good time. <laughs> that, That's okay. Cool. Have a good weekend, everyone. Bye. Bye. We're gonna go drink. It is officially today releasing a video showing off the Switch. Wait for it, light. Nice. Uh, yeah, a lot of attractive people going to beautiful outdoor locations and then whipping out their mini Switches and playing video games, just like you would always yeah. do. Hey, bro, let's go skateboarding and play Switch. Okay, bro, I like their little, like, forearm, the Roman forearm yeah. clap before they start playing Mario. <laughs> boing, boing. I, I just wanna cut to the other kid who's skating.